Here comes the King Slayer. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the Intercontinental Seth Rollins has made a career and out of taking of risks and seizing Champion, opportunities. Seth Rollins! Seth Rollins has been a multi time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. Two of the most intimidating forces in WWE. And his opponents, at a combined weight of 620 pounds, Akum and Razor, the authors of pain. What an incredible opportunity on this big stage for the authors of pain tonight. It was just a matter of time before Razor and Akum made it to the big stage in WWE because they have done nothing but destroy everything in front of them. Tell you what, just the intimidating march to the ring is enough to throw your opponent's mindset out of whack. Man, these guys are scary. And if the mind games don't work, the authors of pain have no issue physically destroying you. A stellar career at NXT has led to this. One of the most intimidating tag teams of all time. Akum is a man of few words, but this author of pain might write a brutal ending tonight. That was a nice oh, one, Cole. And my math tells me this man. one's about to get ugly real fast. That's it. He got him. Penny predicament. Seth Rollins with a quick kick out. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Tag made, and this should be a great double team by this awesome team. Oh, man. Vicious knees, right to the gut. Big forearm smash. Kick to the... Set Rollins in some trouble here. But I don't like his chances of survival here in this handicap match. The important thing is that he doesn't overreact here. He's taken on a little bit of damage, but it's nothing he can't overcome. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, 
We saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. Neck breaker! So smooth. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dis... Seth Rollins looking for the pin. In a kick out. The book hasn't quite closed on Akam yet. He looks a bit off his game here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Seth Rollins beginning to stumble a little. The Kingslayer's wearing down. At this point, you have to ask how much more he has to give here in this handicap match. It's going to be hard for him to win this handicap match if he doesn't somehow find a way to fend off some of this punishment he's taking. Going for the cover. No, shoulders up in two. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh. And the neck took the brunt of that German suplex. He's got the shoulders down. And Seth Rollins with a quick kick out. It's way too early. for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Stationary position. Turns around. Oh, looking to flatten him now. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. Crushing it. That's how you wear down your opponent. Second time's a charm. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put... He goes for the cover. And he got a near fall out of it. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. There's the chop. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors involved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business. 
rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against them. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. When this guy's on, look out. Look at this. Seth freaking Rollins. You can't argue with the results. Somebody wound him up and he's off and running. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. Seth Rollins getting ready. Oh, super kick! That might have done it, Cole. There's almost no rebounding from a strike like that. That has got to be in. There's a pin now. One. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Yeah, look at the quickness of Ray's arm. A man that big shouldn't move that fast. And we're back to this form of attack. Will it be? I think so. Two. This guy just refuses to quit. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Here's Akam. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Akam has to take advantage now. Here's Akam. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Impact. Well, he got him. Let's look at this again. Here's Razor. He's going for the pin. And he got a near fall out of it. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Kyle Driver spiked him. His shoulders are down. And he's able to get out. Wow, just when you think he's done, Seth Rollins finds the strength to power through and battle on. He's making a statement here with this attack. Seth Rollins returned in 2016 with the mantra, Redesign, Rebuild, Reclaim. WWE superstars usually return from injury with determination, but with Rollins, it was almost a reinvention. And a scoop slam. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble. And quickly. Byron Rollins' comeback was directly tied to his injury. When an injury beats you instead of an opponent, you tend to focus on yourself instead of an enemy. Yeah, but that focus paid off when Samoa Joe injured Seth's knee mere weeks before WrestleMania. That mantra showed when Rollins was able to... Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Plenty of fight left. Yeah, this early, no chance. Using his knee now. Oh, and he reverses it. He can't. Oh, man. Rizar took his head off. Rollins fans have plenty to worry about here. Here's Rizar. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Impact. Great move by him right there. Yeah, let's see that one again. Here's Akam. Here's a cover! Could be it. Two, three! The pinfall and the victory. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance.
I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, Akum and Razor, the authors of pain. And there's your winner via pinfall. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match.